Hey guys, so with the AFL not going ahead for the next 8 weeks or so, we obviously need a new series to replace AFL Evolution predictions. I decided we could have a bit of fun by doing what I'm calling the AFL Evolution Lightning Cup. This is how it's going to work. Over the next 3 to 4 weeks between now and the release of AFL EVO 2, we'll play this tournament where we'll have all 18 AFL teams. As this will be somewhat of a send-off for Evolution 1, we're going to use the original 2017 teams that came with the original version of the game. The 18 teams will be organised into 6 groups of 3, and in the first round the top 2 teams from each of these groups will go through. In Group A we've got West Coast, Fremantle and Essendon. In Group B we've got Adelaide, Port Adelaide and Carlton. In Group C we've got Brisbane, Gold Coast and Melbourne. In Group D we've got Collingwood, Richmond and St Kilda. In Group E we've got Sydney, GWS and the Western Bulldogs. And in Group F we've got Hawthorne, North Melbourne and Geelong. So as I said before, the best two teams from those groups will make it through to Round 2. And in Round 2 we'll have 12 teams organised into 4 groups of 3. I'll try and explain this in the most simple way possible because it might be a bit complicated but Whatever, it'll make sense as we go along. The first group will be the teams who finished first in group A, B and C. The second group will be the teams who finished second in group A, B and C. The third group will be the teams that finished first in groups D, E and F. And the fourth group will be the teams that finished second in groups D, E and F. So by the time we get to round three, we're left with eight teams. And those eight teams will be divided into two groups of four. The first group will be group A, B and C. So all the teams who were in groups A, B and C in the first round that have made it through will be in this first group in round three. The second group will be everyone who was in groups D, E and F who has made it through to the third round. And then round four will be like the grand final round where the best two teams will make it through and go head to head to see who is the best out of all the teams. So that's basically how I see that working. Now, if you guys like this and you wanna see more, and if we have time to do this, because I don't know how long it's going to take to kind of make all these games and these videos and stuff like that. But if we have time, I want to try and do a State League Lightning Cup as well. So this is how that would work if we go ahead with it. We'll start off with 12 teams organized into four groups of three. That's three teams from each State League. When choosing the teams to go into these groups, I basically just went back and picked the three most recent premiers, with some exceptions. For the Waffles, Sandful and Neeful groups, it's the three most recent premiers that have no AFL listed players. For those of you who have played the state leagues in AFL Evolution, you'll know that there are a couple teams in those state leagues that do have AFL listed players in them, and that makes those teams way too overpowered when you put the AI versus the AI. So any team that has an AFL listed player in the Waffle, Sandful or Neeful unfortunately doesn't qualify for this league. For the VFL, it was much harder because the majority of those teams have AFL listed players and are linked to AFL sides. So for the VFL group, uh, we've basically just gone with the most successful teams that don't have any AFL listed players. Hopefully that'll make sense. So in group A, which is the Waffle group, we've got Subiaco, West Perth and Claremont. In group B, which is the SANFL group, we've got Glenelg, North Adelaide and Sturt. In group C, which is the Neeful group, We've got Southport, Northern Territory Thunder, and Aspley. Aspley? Apsley? Aspley. I, I don't know. You just, whatever their name is, they're in the thing. And in Group D, the VFL group, we've got the Coburg Lions, the Williamstown Seagulls, and the Frankston Dolphins. And this tournament will play out almost identically to how the other one is structured as well. So in Round 2, we'll be left with 8 teams which is the top two teams from each of the groups. And they'll go into group one, which will be the Waffle teams and the SANFL teams, and group two, which will be the Neeful teams and the VFL teams. In round three, we'll be left with the best two teams from all the groups, and they'll go head to head to see who's the best. Again, if we have time, it might be interesting to do the best team from the AFL tournament versus the best team from the State League tournament. That could be pretty one-sided, but that could be fun to do as well if you guys want to see it. Now, my idea for a release schedule for this kind of thing is to basically release it over the course of a weekend. You know, the weekends where we don't have any footy and stuff like that. Basically, when footy would normally be on is when I would like to release these videos. So for example, Group A in the AFL tournament would probably release on a Thursday evening or something like that. Group B on Friday evening, Group C on Saturday and etc, etc, going on like that. Hopefully I've explained absolutely everything that needs to be explained. If I haven't, well, it'll make sense once the games start. But um, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, what you think of this idea and you know what else you'd like to see us do. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments down below. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.